Hi, as in the previous video where we were creating the single paged application in Angular, what we did is we created three different components, the app component, home component and employee component. So in the app component, we put a couple of links and when we clicked on any of that, the different components were in the picture. Like if I click on home, the home component will be visible. And similarly, if I click on employees, the employee components will be visible. So that was about the app component. But now here, what I will do is I will add a button in the home component. And when I will click on that, it will make a jump to the employee component means in the previous video, we were actually clicking the top level uh, component like the app component. But here in the same hierarchy, we will see how can we navigate. All right. So let's see a practical implementation where we will see how to navigate between the one component to the another in the same level of the hierarchy. So as in the previous video, we have already created this single paged application where at the top there is an app component where in the HTML I have put a couple of links and here in the router outlet, you can see the particular page to be rendered. All right. Now, here, what I'm going to do is I will put a button in this home component and when I will click that, I should be redirected to this employee component. All right. So far, this top header where I'm clicking on this link is a different component altogether. That is the app component. All right. But now I want I should come from home component to this employee. All right. So for this particular thing, I have already done the settings out here, but now I will go for some different options. So first thing which I'm going to, I'm going to do is I will put a button right here in this home component. For that here, I have written a code where on the button click event, I have bound it to the go to employee method. All right. And here is the text. So when I'll save it, you can see there is a button now, which is not working obviously. So what I'll have to do, I will have to add a method called go to employee here in my component.ts. So inside this home component, I'm going to put the logic. And for that thing only, I have included this router component at the top from the angular router. So what I'll do inside this class is I will create a constructor where in the parameter, I will pass a private router. All right. And it will be of router type, which I have already included here. All right. So as I promised this particular button that on the click, I will call the go to employee. Here is the go to employee method, which is returning a void. And this router has a function inside called navigate. And here inside this array parameter, I will pass the particular component on which I want to get redirected. All right. So there's an employee. So I already specified that here in the app module that whenever a request is made for the employee, I should get this employee component. All right. So here I have done the same. I have made a request for the employee component. So let's come back to the browser. And uh, when now when I will click on this particular button, you see I am here in the employee component. All right. So either when you are at home, you can click here as well or you can click on this button to jump to the employee component. So this is how you can perform the navigation in Angular application.